My name is Adelaide Oben Asama. I am a pupil of Cherry School and I advise all parents to always watch this generation on GNTV Junior Made for Kids. This generation! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Discovery Segments. I am Josephine Aja. You can follow and like us on Facebook on This Generation TV. You can send in your comment via WhatsApp on the number 055-137-6979. And if you want to sponsor this program, you can contact the producer on the number 055-137-6979. My guest today happens to be Miss Elsie Techi, who is undertaking a children's initiative called Focus Sport. Miss Elsie Techi, you are welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Please? Fine. Can you please... Tell us a little about Miss Elsie Techi. Okay, thank you for having me on your show. My name is Elsie Techi uh, from Akwetia in the eastern region of Ghana. Went to Ghana Consolidated Diamond International School. Completed GHS in the year 2011. Then went to Oyokometezi Senior High in Koforidia. Completed 2014. After school, I had this ambition of becoming a journalist. So I wanted my, my dream to come true. So I went to Multimedia Institute of Ghana and I studied journalism. Completed, went for my internship at Hot FM. Came back to school to do my diploma in journalism. After school, I decided to work on my own project where I would travel around Ghana or across Ghana just to find out little issues bothering the minds of Ghanaians, especially the deprived communities. And so this something little about LC Techi. Can you please tell us a little about the Focus Sport initiative? Okay, Focus Sport, we started when we were in school. It was a student, a colleague of mine, who had this idea of shooting documentaries. So she shared this idea with this lecture and she, he also bought into that idea and we started as Documentary Ghana. So we traveled to deprived communities because journalism is not sitting in the office and looking for stories. You have to go there. You have to go and live with the people. So we traveled to deprived communities and we live with them sometimes for a week, sometimes for three days, at times a month, just to eat play with them and have a feel of the environment so that when we come back to Akka and we are writing something about them, we know what we are writing about. So when we went to most of the deprived community, we saw that education, health, road, um, sanitation is the major problem there. Mostly we focus on education and health. Oh, okay. So why have you focused on children? I have focused on children because we went to Volta region and we, visit, we visited one of the schools and when we entered one of the class, we saw this young girl sitting down. Her colleagues were writing, but she wasn't doing anything. She was just sitting down, looking on the board. So I just went closer and asked her, why are you not writing? And I was told she doesn't have a book. So it tells us that some people living in the deprived community, some go to school without even going with books. So that's how come we decided to just form a foundation where we will give, if our main focus will be on education. We will give children who don't have, whose, whose parents don't have money to buy little or basic things for them. We will just give it to them, things like books, pen and pencils to help promote education in Ghana because now education is the issue. Education is the topmost priority in Ghana now. If you are not well educated, you can't go anywhere. I mean, somebody will say, okay, someone wasn't, didn't go to school, but the person has been able to make it in life. But that person who didn't, wasn't able to go to school, now wants his or her child to go to school. And so it tells you that education is more important. So we want to help these young ones who don't have books to write in, who need help when it comes to education so that they can also be somebody in future. Did you ever go through any challenges? But before you answer my question, I'll go for a short break. We are 
proudly supported by Green Vine International School. You can locate them at Amaya near the Baron Water House on the Adenta Dodua Road. You can follow and like us on Facebook on This Generation TV. I am Josephine Aja. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's Alfred Okansi. I work with TV3. And during the um, segment on the show, I spoke about my life and also to encourage a lot of the children who are watching at the moment. I understand one of you has identified me as a mentor. So as many of you who want to be encouraged, just so you know that there's definitely positive vibes out there. Just keep your head up and don't give up. Strive, learn hard, pray as well going to happen and keep watching this generation we are inspired welcome back from break i am Josephine aja and i'm still here with miss elsie techi you are still watching the discovery segment welcome back from the break madam. thank you before we went for break i asked whether you went you went through any challenges when growing up as a child yes i went through a lot I was young when my mom traveled outside Ghana. So I have lived alone all my life. And I was 13 when my mom and dad separated. So, and since then, my dad has not been supportive enough. It hasn't been easy. We are not poor. We are, not, we are also not rich. So the challenges wasn't about money because my mom tried her best to support. Because we are, we are girls, so she doesn't want us to be naughty sometimes so she try her best to give us what we want so that we'll be focused and when i i wanted to become a journalist my mom didn't want didn't like that idea she said this journalism thing, thing is very dangerous so she wanted me to become a, a nurse or a teacher so as a kid we have suffered suffered a lot but we have God and people around, we get people around us who will always give us words of encouragement. So we are always focused and we want to achieve what we want to be in future. Okay. So what motivated you or where do you get your funds to support your initiative? For now, it's from our own pocket. Sometimes it's very difficult because we want to help people but the money is not coming. But I watch people growing up, I have watched this young lady who has inspired me a lot. So anytime I see her on TV, I hear her voice, it gives me words of encouragement that I can also be like her or can even be more than her. So when I see such people, I'm always inspired that I have to push, just be focused and be determined and persevere. You can make it no matter how the challenge is. Okay. So if I may ask, who is that lady you look up to? Uh, she's a broadcaster. Uh, since I wanted to become a journalist, those are the people who I watch. So mostly I watch most of the female journalists on TV. They inspire me, but she's one person that I love so much. Anytime I see her on TV, it gets me, like, tells me that I can also be like her. And she's a fear for queer women lady. I like, she's very bold, she doesn't give up, she always, though I haven't met her one on one, but I can see, I, I always touch into her, let's say her words of wisdom from afar, but I know one day I will meet her, so she's that lady that I look up to, and I want to be like her, and even more than her. Madam, did you ever dream of becoming what you are today? Yes. It has always been my biggest dream. I love the job. I have passion for the job. I love it so much to the extent that even if I'm not paid, I am not worried. I just want to touch life through journalism. I have always dreamt of becoming a journalist. After a JHS, that was what I wanted to become. So nothing could stop me. Even my mother wasn't able to stop me. So journalism has been my passion throughout my life and I want to be there. Wow, that's nice of you. When did you finally decide to become a journalist? Okay, after JHS. One day I was in my room and listening to one of the channels and that's when I discovered that I have 
that passion. I heard that lady's voice on radio for once. And then I went, I came out and my auntie was sitting there. I said, Mom, I want to become a journalist. Show me names. I say, You can't. Because you are a quick tempered person. So, how can you become a journalist? I said, Yes, I want to become. And I'm going to prove all of you wrong that I can do that. So, after JHS, I discovered that this is what I want to do. And since that day, I have been working towards that thing for long. So, after journalism, I'm thinking of becoming a lawyer okay. in the future. So, that's where I'm going to end being a lawyer. And have you been able to affect lives with it? Yes, I have through Focus Spot because that is the main thing that I'm doing now. So I have been able to affect life, especially children, because they are the future leaders. And when we are no more, they are going to take over from us. We want to leave a legacy, a good one, because our forefathers left a good legacy. We want to continue from there. Because when people see me, they smile. Yes, this is a woman who has been selling our issues, talking about our issues, telling people to come and help us. And when we have a letter on us, we give it to people. So when you put smiles on people's face, then you, have, you are in, uh, directly affecting life. There's this uh, chief who always call us and say thank you. So that's my greatest achievement that I wanted to touch life and I have been able to touch life. We will go for a short break. Soon. This generation, we are in Welcome back from break. I am Josephine Aja and I'm still here with Miss Elsie Tichi. And you are still watching the Discovery segments. Welcome back from the break, madam. Thank you. Miss Elsie, yeah. you made mention of the fact that you had a role model while growing up. Yeah. So is it necessary for every child to have a role model? Yes, you have to have a role model. But before that, you have to discover what you want to do. If you want to be a doctor, then you have to get a, a role model who is a doctor. If you want to be a nurse, you have to get a role model who is a nurse. So that you study and you learn from that person. Not the bad side. But the good side and you have to be unique the fact that you have a role model you shouldn't be like her him or her like me person me yes so no di to the two speak like her act like her no because you have to be unique in your own way but you have to learn certain things from that person so as a child you need to have a mentor you need to have a role model who will guide you and you have the role model should be someone you can see you can talk to Someone who can teach you that this is good, this is not good. Do this, don't do this. So as a child, you need to have a mentor, a role model, who will teach you to be who you want to become in the future. Okay. Miss Elsie, please, what advice can you give to us children and parents who are watching this show? Okay. I want to tell, especially children, that you need to be focused, be determined, and persevere. Don't let anyone belittle you. Don't let anyone discourage you that whatever you are doing, you can't do it. And wherever you are, whatever you are doing, know that somebody somewhere is watching you. So you need to be focused and make sure that you achieve your aim. When you go to school, study hard, learn. Enough of this Facebook, that this social media thing, enough of the televisions. Let your books be your friends and learn. And parents, we are begging you. And Kalani ni moko kofu, yeni koko fu biya o be biya biem. So invest in your child education. Yenja into markets yeni yato deko yeni adeno. It won't solve any. It won't bring anything. But when when you are able to invest in your child's education, you will be you will be sitting down and you will feel proud as a mother so please we are begging you and those in deprived communities though things are not all that easy over there some of your children sit under trees to learn it's very heartbreaking but 
make sure that you always encourage them. Obi wa wasi ne onone papa amfana nko school so onone amfana ne ba nko school. Erase that thing from your head. My mom is not educated, but she made sure that each and any uh, and every one of us will go to school. So if you are not well educated, make sure your children will be well educated. I heard there is a donation coming yeah. on. When is it happening or where is it going to happen at? And as I said earlier, when we traveled around, we have, we have been seeing children who don't have books, pens, go to, they just get up in the morning, go to school without any teaching and learning materials. So we want to help in getting these TLMs, teaching and learning materials, so that they can also become who they want to become. We are doing this with Rosie and Friends Foundation. Yes. And if you want to make any donation, you can call 0208-761-283. 0208-761-283. Or you can follow us on Facebook, Focus Sports Ghana, or Apes Makaima Foundation, and LC Techi on Facebook. And then YouTube is Focus Sports TV Ghana. You can follow us there and watch some of our videos. And come and support these young ones for them also to be able to achieve what they want to be in the future and let me say thank you to my mom she has been supportive since day one entire team patrick sule obed and the rest then rosie oh, okay they will be there to support you thank you very much but yeah you don't come and go freely you have to go through a brain a brain test hey. <laughs> so your test will be reciting the two times table. Hey, this girl wants to disgrace me today. <laughs> okay, two one two, two two four, two three six, two four eight, two five ten, two six twelve, two seven fourteen, two eight sixteen, two nine eighteen, two ten, twenty, two eleven, twenty two. 2 12 24. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank we are you most for grateful. Me. No, I'm also most grateful. Viewers, once again, we have come to the end of this show. And today happens to be the birthday of my dear mom. So I wish you a happy birthday. I say, may God richly bless you for your support. Viewers, thank you. For watching this segment, I am Josephine Aja. See you next week. Bye bye.